Air Force ROTC, developing leaders of character for tomorrow's Air Force. That's what we do. Why? To develop, mentor, and create leaders capable of defending our nation. It takes over 1,000 training hours over four years. Cadets learn how to be leaders, wingmen, and warriors through academic education, professional development, professional military training, and physical conditioning. Midway through our program, cadets are evaluated in a field training experience to test their ability to lead under pressure. Cadets only earn an Air Force commission once they have proven to both leadership and themselves that they are truly capable of leading in the world's greatest air, space, and cyber force. That's why we do what we do. Air Force ROTC. Hello, my name is Hunter Jennings. I'm a student here at UMD. I major in mechanical engineering and I'm also a cadet here at the ROTC program. ROTC offers many scholarships that can help pay for your tuition, pay for your books, and also give you monthly payment to make sure you stay on track with your college career. Let's take a look at some scholarship opportunities. Scholarships are a huge part of Air Force ROTC. There are multiple ways to get an Air Force ROTC scholarship. You can get one out of high school, you can get one while you're in college, or you can get one straight out of the enlisted ranks. I heard about Air Force ROTC going to different college fairs or air shows and then seeing the Air Force around. Um, and so I just, you know, Googled the website, went on there and saw that they had the whole tab for scholarships. That really gave me kind of all the information I needed to see the different types of scholarships, how to apply, when to apply, and what I needed to do to get ready for that. I got the high school scholarship, so all of my tuition, wherever I decided to, to go, was paid for and covered by the Air Force. It really took the, the burden or a lot of the stress of college out of it, because the only thing I had to worry about was my grades then. I didn't have to worry about working and taking time away from my academic studies. When I got to college, I didn't know that there was also in-college scholarships. In my case, I have an in-college commander's scholarship. The day that I got my scholarship was arguably one of the best days I've had ever. I knew that I wanted to be competitive for a scholarship as soon as I got here to help me with my schooling. And it certainly took a huge load off of myself and my mother, it changed our lives. My scholarship is called the Scholarship for Outstanding Airmen to ROTC. I ended up enlisting in the Air Force. And then after three and a half years, I was awarded a scholarship. I worked really hard for the scholarship. It allowed me to go to school full time and basically graduating as an officer. Part of accepting a scholarship is committing to the Air Force. You can apply uh, without knowing that you're gonna commit right away um, because if you receive it, you can choose to accept it or deny it. So I would say, even if it's just a thought that you wanna join Air Force ROTC, Go ahead and apply. Start that process immediately because in the end, you'll be glad that you did it. After we at the scholarship options, let's talk about careers. You're a guaranteed job in the Air Force after graduation. You could also go into the Space Force through the Air Force ROTC program. Let's check out the Space Force. Today, space is essential not only to our way of life, it's absolutely critical to the modern way of war. GPS, ATMs, cell phones, gas pumps, traffic lights, power grids, guided missiles, surveillance, RPAs, ground combat control. There's no such thing as a day without space operations. You just don't see them. Earth is only half the battle. Cyber attacks and jamming of our satellites. Microsatellites that can create a debris field. At 17,000 miles an hour, a piece of metal the size of a coin can be weaponized. Now is the time for a military branch with a clear and singular focus on space. A military branch that protects the hopes and dreams of America and our way of life as the space domain becomes more and more contested. It's time for another giant leap. The United States Space Force is being built from the brightest minds across the space operations of the Air Force, our joint services, and the private sector. We aren't just getting ready for the near future, we're getting ready for the 22nd century. When our enemies ask, what if, we will have an answer. When foreign powers can build bases on the dark side of the moon, when private companies are inventing a new economy beyond our planet, we need to stay one step ahead of the future. And the future is where we'll make history. We will fight in an environment with no up or down, no left or right, where there are no borders and nowhere to hide. Our Space Force is defending our country, here on Earth and wherever our mission takes us. 
As commerce and exploration expand, we will imagine the unimaginable, anticipate the inconceivable, and prepare for the impossible. We won't just think outside the box. We'll think outside the atmosphere in one of the most challenging environments ever known. As you can see, there are countless opportunities in the Air and Space Force. Hope you strongly consider enrolling in the Air Force ROTC program. Thank you for listening.